Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial by Design From Within. Uh, this time I'd like to show you a little bit more about Modix ACL, uh, how to customize the manager using access controls, user groups and roles. And what that means is uh, how to create a user group for your Modix website that has limited access. So for instance you have a client and he, he has to change his own website of course, he has to edit the content. But you don't want him to mess with the files and you don't want to edit any chunks or any template variables. Well, you can you can set that up for him. Um, in Modix, this is actually one of the things that is a little bit less uh, less uh, well done in, inside Modix. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not that, that hard once you get the hang of it. So let me uh, show you uh, how, how to do this. All right, so let's start. Um, first of all, uh, I have a fresh installation of ModX. I installed it under a subfolder called test. Uh, it's uh, ModX 2.2.4 PL. Um, it's just a fresh installation and didn't change anything yet. Um, this is the front end. It's just clean. Nothing has happened to it. Okay. So first, let's say what we want to do. We, uh, I'd like to create a user group called or a user called admin. And to this admin, I would like to give limited user rights. I don't want him to see this tab elements he should not mess with this at all uh, it's probably not a technical user so he just doesn't need this he only needs the resources and maybe a file tab but inside the file tab i only i don't want him to see all the files i only want to, him to see a folder called uploads so let's first create a folder under the main called uploads so now oh uh, I can't up, uh, create that folder. Um, it's probably because of the the writes. So let me see. Actually, um, let's change this. Let's not create it under the main root, but under assets. It's probably a better a better place anyway. Upload. So I'm creating a folder called uploads here. So this is the folder that that user should be able to use. That's all. Okay, so we have a folder called Uploads. Um, next we're going to Security, Access Controls. And here you see the default Access Controls Modix provides. Anonymous for just general visitors and administrator, that's us, the admins of the site who have full rights. So now we want to create another Access Control group who has limited rights. So we're going to click on New Group. Let's call this one Admin. Um, users with limited admin rights. Just give it a description, you can do it whatever you want of course. Um, here you can uh, select the manager policy um, and for now let's uh, just keep it like this for now. Um, uh, so keep it like this, save. It's, uh, I like it. Oh no, you have to give it one, sorry. Um, let's give it the manager policy of administrator for now. We're gonna tweak that later. So we created a group of access controls. Admin. Let's right-click on it. Update user group. And here you can see some fields. Um, the dashboard is default. You can actually give it a customized dashboard. First, let's add a role here. Um, as you can see, it can view the web the front side of the site and the access policy, policy is context and so if we want to grant access to the manager we will need to add the context of manager so add one select the ma manager the minimum role can be a super user and the access policy should be a content editor that's for the one i usually choose uh, administrator has all the rights like we do content editor has a little bit less rights but can create pages and edit pages but cannot remove files, for instance. Um, and the other ones have even less uh, 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 less rights. Uh, I usually choose this one and then change that to my liking. So please select any of the default choices, but I suggest you use Content Editor for any default manager. As you can see here, you get a quick overview of what it's allowed to do. So let's save it. So now we have an, uh, a user group and it has access to the uh, to the manager, but it has only limited access. 
Um, actually, I see now super user, that's a bit wrong. Uh, let's update it and let's change it to member. So a member means that anyone who's, who's a part of that group has access to it. Within each group, you, you can create several levels of rights. I, I normally don't do this. Uh, I don't have that big sites that have that kind of complicated levels. Um, but you could have admins of different levels, like a higher up admin who can actually delete files, for instance, and a lower end admin who cannot delete files, only submit files for deletion, something like that. But let's just give it a member. Now it looks like kind of neat. Um, so we have a, uh, a role, an admin, uh, so now we need to add a new user. Um, to add one, uh, uh, let's go to security, manage users. And we need to add a new user, of course. Uh, you have me, and uh, that's my new one. So I'm going to create a new one. And I'm just going to call it admin. Uh, so username admin. Uh, some guy, it, this is of course not needed but I always like to fill this in. And I'm gonna use my own, uh, my own email. Uh, and remove this stuff, <laughs> that's pre-filled. Okay, and I'm gonna put it to active. I'm gonna send a password by email and I'm gonna specify my own password. This will be, of course, normally your normal users, but you could always create a test user for yourself just to check that all the settings are correct. And now you can click on the next tab, access permissions, and we're gonna add it to the group we just created, an admin, and we see our own description here, so that's easy. And the role will be a member. And save. Well, that's it for now, let's save it. Um, and to test this, uh, it's actually kinda nice to just copy the manager URL and I like to open a new browser, maybe uh, Firefox. Uh, I work in Chrome usually. And just when you have the Firefox, you can add that URL. And now you can log in under your new, your new, uh, your new user password, the admin one. Um, I can remember it. And now you will see that it looks a little bit different, the desktop. So, as you can see, um, there's a lot missing. There are a lot of less buttons, and there's only the resources tab. So a user can only actually create new documents, refresh the tree, and maybe sort a little bit, and it will be able to edit existing pages. Um, at the moment, it's actually not even allowed to create pages in the root, uh, which I don't really like, Com mostly common my users uh, are the main main users of the site, so they should be able to edit, add or remove a page anywhere. Um, so let's let's fix that. Um, but as you can see, this is already a nice, more basic view for for the not non-technical user. So I, I really like to use this for my clients. So let's go back to uh, our view, um, and to change the user rights, you go to security access controls, and you go to your new ad admin one. You click on. Uh, update user group and if you go to uh, oh I'm sorry I, uh, I made messed up here go to, again to security access controls and here you have your access policies and if you remember the one we used was the content editor um, I'm gonna change this one you can also right click and duplicate the policy and just create your customized one I, I actually just update this one um, so it's still called Content Editor, that's our name, uh, it's fine. And here you can see all the rights, it's a long list, this is this is part why it's so complicated. It's a really long list of things that people are or not are not allowed to do. Well, first what I want is that for them to be able to uh, create a, f a document in the, in the root. So uh, let's find that one. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, um, let's see where it is. Yeah, I found it. It's a little bit here. If you search for a new document in root, you can you'll see here the description to be able to create a resource at the root level. So I'm gonna assign that one. 
Um, and what I also would like is I would like them to see the files tab because I want them to be able to add some some maybe some images or maybe a PDF. So I'm gonna uh, scroll up a little bit again, um, and there should be a, a, a list, a tree, a file tree. Yeah, it's a little bit from the top. Uh, there's file tree. To view files from the tree in the left nav. I'm also gonna add um, to create a file. So they'll be able to add a file. Uh, the file manager they should be able to use and they should be able to list file uh, and also file upload and file update so they'll be able to change one I'm gonna leave out file remove they won't be able to remove one um, maybe uh, maybe you want to uh, activate that one but it's nice to just keep them uh, well they, they just can't ch remove any files uh, and file view of course that should be useful as well so what we did, we gave them access to the files tab and give them limited rights to change files there. Uh, at the moment they have access to the files in the root, but we will be changing that. And they also now have able are able to, um, to add a document in the root file. So those are the changes I made. Let's save. And before you now check if it's worked, you have to go to security and flush all sessions. That's an important step. If you forget it, you will think that it won't work, but it will. So flush all sessions, you get logged out and you have to re-log in again. And this will be the same on the other one, the Firefox. So I'm refreshing there and I'm gonna select admin and log in again. And now you'll see that we have access to the files tab and we can actually upload files, create a file. We can't remove files, so you don't see that one. Uh, but still, we have a little bit of access, so that's good. Okay, and we can now create a file in the root of our site. Let's test that for a second. Let's create a test paste page, and it will be published, save. As you can see, they created a, a page called test. Um, but they aren't able to publish it, so that's also something we need to fix. Let's go back again to security, access controls, access policies, and the content editor. Let's update the policy again. So now I'm gonna look for the right to publish files, resources. And almost halfway down the all the all the ad, um, all the options, there's an item called publish document, which is kind of important. The right to publish one. Um, so yeah, that should be uh, activated also. Um, let's see any other things to change. Let's see where this leaves us. So I'm gonna save it again, and let's create something else um, we will be able we will need to be able to add files to their own system but I don't want to have them access to the file system so let's go to system uh, or sorry to tools media sources that's where the the media system is created it's kind of new actually and here we can create a new media source uh, I'm gonna call it upload and general folder for admin files something like that you can give it your own description and it's going to be just a basic file system as you can see here there's also an Amazon S3 option it's really cool if you have a really advanced system that's located in the cloud you can use that but I'm gonna just gonna use the file system so now uh, we will have an extra system here upload and at the moment it's the same as file system as you can see but if we update, right click, update the media source. Um, if you remember, we created a folder called uploads below the file assets. So if you edit the media source uploads, you will see here base path. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna say assets uploads. So now that the root of this system, this media source will be that folder 
and it, the, the user won't have access to any fo any other folders. So this is really useful. Let, let's save it, clear our cache, and if you now click on upload, you will see that it's simply the folder upload, nothing else. So this is really good. Our our users, our admins, won't be able to change any files of our site unless they uploaded it themselves. Okay, but they still have access to our file system. So let's change that. Let's go to uh, uh, Tools, Media Sources again. And this time you're going to right click on File System, the main file system itself. And now you're going to click on Access Permissions. And now, since there are no permissions, everybody has permissions. That's the general rule. But now if we add a user group, and let's add our user group of administrator, and the minimum role is a member, and our policy is media source admin. This says the only people who have access to the file system are administrators with the minimum role of member who have the policy active of media source admin, which we do. So if we save this, right click also, and clear our cache, and, and refresh the page. As admin, we will still have access, of course, to our basic file system. We should, there, there they are. So this is still the, our website. Um, but if we now, again, do security flush all sessions because we changed some settings. Uh, we can log in again as our manager, but we can also open our Firefox, so our admin user refresh here, we will need to log in again also. And now when we log in here, you will notice on the files that we don't have access to our our, uh, our file system anymore. The only folder we have access to is upload. And this is really good. So now our admin user is unable to change any files of our website from, of, from within the ModX manager. So let's test it if, if it if we can upload an image. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go to a site and maybe add an image. I don't know. Uh, let's go to pictures. Let's get a nice standard penguins from Windows. And let's upload it. And it's uploaded. So here, there's the penguin image. Um, and if we go to our so our site, of course, we can quickly go to upload and see what our client did. So it's a really nice way to organize your system. So finally, let's see what our user can do. They have access to files, they can upload stuff, they can rename it, they can download it, they can maybe even update it, but they can't remove it. Uh, if you want to change that, that's possible, of course. For resources, they can create pages. Let's see if they can publish it now, because we changed that, they were unable to publish the page. Um, which is kind of important, of course. So now they can publish it. Um, that publish setting can be useful if you have, if you are the main site manager and you want to have some, maybe contributor to the site, they can write their pages, they can edit, but they won't be able to put anything live without your consent. So that can be really useful. Um, and of course, they are not able to delete any resources. They can delete the resource like this, um, but it won't be gone. You, you will be always able to, to recover it. And they aren't able to empty the trash. So that's it. That's uh, basic ACL rights in ModX. And um, please visit my site. Read the blog. Give me some feedback. And uh, hope you found it useful. Thank you very much.